All right. Once you get logged in to your Canvas page, you're going to click on my Canvas class. I want you to scroll down and click on today's assignment, the 1.5.5 logo in Autodesk. Once you get in there, you're going to see where it says on the top right, it says download. You want to click on that. It's going to bring a box down to the bottom left corner of your screen. You'll click on the middle of that box. It will move into Autodesk and open up a file that I've already put in Canvas for you. Then you are going to hit start a sketch. Click on the front screen of your rectangle. And then we need to just piece by piece create each part. So what I would start with is the star. So put your arrow of your mouse right on the star. And if you roll the little ball back towards you, you can make it nice and big in the middle of your screen and it'll make it easier to trace. Turn your line tool on. We're going to start in the corner and click every time we get to a point. So I'm going to click here, come up to the top. I'm going to click again, click, coming out to this point, clicking inside to this point and clicking outside point and I click, inside point, click, outside point, click, inside point, click, outside point, click. And this final one, I wanna make sure my circle is green because then that's gonna let me know that it's been connected together. And then I'm going to hit finish sketch. I wanna choose to extrude this, okay? And because of how big it is, one inch actually is probably a good extrusion, but you can always change that to make it different if you'd like. I'm gonna leave it at one and hit okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and I want to trace the moon next. So I'm going to hit start a sketch again, click on that surface. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and this time I'm going to be using the arc tool. Okay, I want to start at the tip. I'm going to click one time and I'm going to come down just a tiny bit, click a second time. My third click will, will leave this line on the screen. Right now it's flexing where I can put it to what I want. So I'm going to try to line it up and then I click a third time and that line stays there. Then I look for the green circle. I'm going to click once, come down a little bit further, click again. And this third time that I click puts the mark on the page. My third click. Again, rolling my mouse in and out so that I can get zoomed in where I need to. Look for the green circle. I click once, come down a little further on the line, click a second time, and then I bend click a third time. Clicking where it's green circle, coming out again, clicking a second time, and my third time places the line. And I'm just going to keep repeating this process. Look for the green circle, click once, come out a little further, click a second time, click a third time. Look for my green circle, click once, come out to the tip now, click a second time, and then I click a third time. Green circle, click once, twice, click a third time. Again, green circle, click once, click a second time, click a third time. Green circle, click once, click a second time, click a third time. Click once, Click twice, click a third time. Green circle, click once. This time I want to look for the green circle at the end because I'm coming all the way to the end too. Click twice and then I click a third time. And then I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to hit extrude. I like where that's at. I'm going to hit OK. We can either leave the moon as a solid or we can come back in and trace out the center so that it's hollow like the drawing. If we want to do that, I'm going to click start a sketch, click on the top of the moon. I'm going to zoom myself in again. And I'm going to use my arc tool and now I'm just going to be tracing another moon. So I'm going to start here a little bit in, click once, click a second time, 
click a third. I'm just repeating the same process all the way around, clicking three times to place those lines. Green circle, click a second time, click a third time. Green circle, click a second time, third time. Green circle, I click, coming out again, click a second time, click a third time. Green circle, click once, click a second time, click a third time. Click one time, second time I click, click a third time. Green circle, click once, click a second time, click third. Green circle, click once, click twice, and then I click a third time. Green circle, click once, click twice, click a third time. Green circle, click once, click twice, click a third time. Green circle, click once, click twice, click a third time. Green circle, click once. This time I'm going to make sure I've got a green circle on the end. Click twice, click a third time. And then I can finish my sketch. I'm going to hit extrude, except this time I want it to go in instead of out so it cuts that hole. So I'm going to choose and flip this around so it cuts a hole back in there. And then I can hit OK. Then when we look at your sketch, we can see that we have the outside. And then you're going to use, you're going to hit start a sketch and click inside the moon. And you're going to need to use the circle tool. Okay. And you're just going to be tracing tiny circles all along the inside. You can keep them at the same pattern as what you see inside here, or you can make your own scattered pattern of circles on the inside. When you're ready to extrude all of the circles, let me know because we're going to do all of the circles in the same sketch and then I will help you extrude all of them at the same time.